Hi, I want to show you some examples of how I take stories and turn them into Nearpod lessons. Um, just to show some examples, you you have the choice to do a Nearpod lesson live where students are on their own devices. Um, you, you can be in Zoom and then they're accessing the Nearpod on their own device. You can also do student paced lessons where the student would be um, on their own, not working on their own, not necessarily in a group doing it all at the same time. I do not do many student paced. Most of mine are live. So if I were doing student paced, I would record audio of me reading my stories or reading the pages of my Nearpod lessons, but you won't see audio in my Nearpod lessons since I usually use them live. Um, so here's an example of my students are working with um, family and people and I wanted to use my El Nabo Gigante simplified story because it has a lot of people in it so it works to reinforce and teach the family and people vocabulary. So my story starts here with El Nabo Gigante but I added some pre slides in Nearpod we uh, collaborate and I have a separate video showing you how to do collaborates um, where the students will be brainstorming the family members they already know how to say. Um, I have some slides to teach and reinforce the vocabulary they'll be working with. Another collaborate board where they can um, share what pets they already know how to say. Um, a reviewing of that. There's a prediction collaborate slide where they'll predict what family members or pets there might be in the story. I have some um, questioning where I'm going to let them respond verbally using the mic in Zoom to answer questions. And those are kind of um, here and there throughout the whole story, things that I've added, some either or questioning, and I, here's another story, another one on churros and chocolate. Um, I have one in Spanish, one in version in English. Also, this is a really low level Spanish class, so I did this one, um, the story in English. And again, there's some collaborate slides in there. Here's an example of a Nearpod virtual reality field trip where they have a virtual reality of someone making churros in a Spanish-speaking country on a street corner where the students will enter and it feels like you're really there watching or standing right next to the someone making the churros. Here's a draw it slide where they will, every student will get their own draw it slide and they'll circle if they've ever tried churros before. Um, Open-ended questions in here. This one, I have a video clip also embedded into the Nearpod lesson and into the story. Um, and at the end, there's a time to climb game, which the students really love. One more example I have here is with students learning the weather expressions and they um, draw it slides where they circle the correct answer. I love using Nearpod because instead of just one person answering a question, everybody will be answering. If they all get that screen and they all circle and will circle then their correct answer. So I have several draw it's here added into the story, uh, a video clip. I think it's a song about weather expressions in Spanish. Here's uh, just verbally, well, they, I, I usually put a microphone, a, a picture of a microphone on the slide if I want them to respond verbally to a question. Um, that way I don't have to, I can stay in the target language. I'm teaching Spanish. I can stay in Spanish. They know when they see that microphone that I'm expecting them to respond verbally. And a time to climb at the end in there as well. I'm not able to sell Nearpod lessons. So instead, I am going to show you how you can quickly and easily use stories that you have purchased from me and 
just add a few things to it and create your own Nearpod lessons.